Dice Podcast. I am Robert and Adam, and we have Andrew Rains here. We are not live, but recording at PRI. No, right. This is live. It's not really released. It's right. live for us it's, right now. Doesn't we are live. We are a live. Barely. We're yeah. hanging in there, man. Yeah, I'm as as alive as can be. At a trade show. At a trade show. Yeah. How was the drive up? You guys came up uh, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we got up. 4 a.m. Yeah, I got up at 3 a.m. because I live too far away. Left, too left the one at 5. So we got here at 1, which means by the time we got parked at 2, I was already over it. <laughs> it was the worst. Oh, so mad. It turns out this giant parking lot that's right here, like right at least half of it is under construction. Oh, I noticed that. So there's no parking in yeah. there. And so the parking situation is a shit show. Yes, yeah, so oh, we, we, we parked a good five minute walk. 10 minute walk down the street. Yeah. yeah. But it took us an hour to fi- to get to that point. Yeah. And then once you get inside the convention center, then it's another mile to get to anywhere. Get anywhere. Yeah. yeah. We went beeline to TU because I wanted to talk to somebody I knew first to get like some sort of confidence. Yeah. Before I start talking to other random people. Yeah. But yesterday was a good confidence booster though. So I was like, everyone was receptive and then we got stopped by a handful of air quote fans. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, we love your show. Thank you. It's so I'm weird. <laughs> so I love it when people do it, and I really appreciate it. But it's so weird. If I yeah. ever get to the point where it's not weird, that then that's going to be weird because yeah. I don't ever oh, want to yeah. get to that point where it's not weird for me. Uh, I yeah. want it. I want to be yeah. like I, yeah. Cool. Well, we did this little thing called the Ten Ten Podcast. <laughs> right. I don't ever want to no be that guy. Deal. Yeah. I always want to be blown away by the fact that somebody gives a shit. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. think that's the way to be. I, I still have that. People recognize me, I guess, from like Facebook live stuff that I do. And it's like, I'm sure. And it, and it, it's just kind of, it's like weird. You're like, how do you know me? I don't know you, you mm-hmm. know, but that's cool. Yep. Well then yeah. I only know people from like Instagram and stuff too. So, uh, Louis, yeah. Lewis, it's J Louis sixty two Lu- on, yeah. on Instagram. So I know, I know his Louis car. 62? I know his Instagram. So then he walks up to us. We talked for a while. I was like, I know who you yeah, are. He's, he, uh, gave he, us, funny. he gave us his Instagram handle. And, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We know who you are. Yeah, you liked oh, you God, liked my picture bad. the other day. Yeah. No, I like your pictures every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the few that just shows up every day, and I always hit like. Oh man, that's cool. Yep. So, so it's yeah. it's been a really good show so far. Um, this this year's been just good weather we've um we didn't do any meetup this year we w- hung out with the grid life guys after we just did, hung out oh, with the petro box guys that. yeah what'd you guys do last night yeah so uh, we we wrapped up here after doing because i'm, I'm kind of here on with two hats on i'm here for the mid of series trying to find uh, contingency sponsors and then also here with the podcast so we're trying to do shows or at least line up shows in the future and then yeah. also yeah sponsors so yeah we did that we were here till five left grabbed dinner and then of course i ate here at four like oh let's go get dinner Oh, you sons of bitches. I'm already full. <laughs> Eight an hour and a half ago. And then we go and get yeah. this awesome burger joint, and they have hoppy refreshers. It's the only restaurant I've ever been to that had a hoppy refresher. Really? Do you know nope. what that is? I'm familiar. Because oh, of the show. Because of the show. Oh, God. Yeah, see, it's my fault that people know about it. It's so nasty. <laughs> it's not nasty. It's good. I've never tried it. It's not I mean, I need to try it. It's, good. It's, like a, it's like the lightest of beers. With no hoppy, alcohol, obviously. Hoppy refresher. I can't get over the fact that <laughs> they, they had refresher. it. I thought that that was just a joke name that him and Michael came up with. It's no. legit what it says on the label. That's what they're called. <laughs> it's a Lagunitas hop and then hoppy refresher. Very weird. But it was way. It was ex- as expensive as any beer on the menu. Really? But I had to do it. Yeah. I guess it still has to go through like a brewing process, right? Like it's not just for the, yeah, tap water. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's, it's not yeah. just like tea. Yeah. So I think there's something to it. Yeah, huh. it's, it's sparkling water too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's carbonated. So it, 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 it hits like a beer, but yeah, I need to try it. I drank vodka water last night. I'm staying on the slimming, you know, uh, <laughs> watching middle, your way. Mid, middle-aged white woman diet. Is that the, the yep. pro racer diet? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it is. Uh, well, Baker actually is the one. He's he's trying to lose weight. Apparently, he's he's not really that big. But, I was gonna say he's not so a. So he ordered vodka water. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I do I do Tito's and water. I guess to whatever. Yeah, I feel great today. Fantastic. I have way too many. I feel great. <laughs> nice. Good to go. We were talking about that on the way here. We were talking about like how miserable does it be? Can it be for some of these guys? Because some of these guys go a little too hard. It's a party. They, show, they show up and drink I every night. With, uh, and then, the guys. So you go out and you drink all night, and then you're here at 7 a.m. the next morning, and you do it three days in a row? That's got to be miserable, it's right? Brutal. It's I pretty brutal. I don't miss those days. I, yeah. I we're was, really boring people. Yeah. So, like, that's not a thing for us. I was out pretty late last night. We went out with, um, so, like, the crew, we're with HMS Motorsport. Um, who are freaking awesome. You guys got to check yeah. them out. Yeah, we've met up. We yeah. talked to, uh, what was his name? Search of the B. Billy? Billy. No, yeah. is that right? Sure. 
Yeah. yeah. Billy. Yeah, we Billy. talked to him for quite a while. Was yeah. A, he runs an Enzel MP3 team. Super cool. Wow. Um, oh, no big deal. We didn't yeah. talk about that. Yeah. yeah. We talked about Champ Car yeah. and, and then the yeah, products. He was like, yeah, we have an E30. We race in Champ Car. That's what he leads with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, you know. He's just trying to be really. You know, he, know, he knows his audience. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. These guys. Right. <laughs> talk about our E30. Yep. Yeah. Their, their Champ Car is funny. It's a 325E. E. It is the slowest car. Slow one. Huh. That's not good. It is like NA Miata slow. <laughs> Like stock wow. and Miata slow. I have the head he needs for that yeah. car in yeah. my storage unit if he's yeah. interested. He actually might be. I think he's. I think he's actually putting an eye head on it. Yes, I have at least one eye head in a storage unit. Of really, it's not my head, but I will happily sell it. To <laughs> uh, possession cool. is nine tenths. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, the guy awesome. who does own it is currently unemployed. He's not going to argue with yeah. me. About he it. doesn't mind at all. Yeah, just take it. We we went out last night. We went to dinner with them. And uh, there's, they, they import uh, Cobra seats, they're, which they're actually made in the UK, which is super cool. Yep. And so those guys come over. And then Valero, which is like the temperature-regulating uh, thermal yeah, underlayer, for yeah, a while, they, which yeah, is also SFI. super cool. Super, have you wore yeah. that stuff? I So shout out to HMS Motorsports for hooking me up this year to, to wear some and share my experience. So, yeah, that's very interesting. Sound. What do you think? Uh, I think? I think, it, I mean, the science seems like it works. So we'll would you would you wear it in? Oh, I, I haven't worn it yet for oh. 2020. Oh, yeah. I got you. 2020. I'm yeah. yeah, sitting right next to you, still not paying attention. Yeah. Apparently. No, Jeez. no, no. <laughs> it's probably my fault. I've been talking like nonstop for the past three days, which is why you can tell my I have the like you know smoker voice. It happens, man. It's a, yeah, it's, it's the it's the city air. That's right. Yeah, it's all this Indianapolis air that just gets in there. It's cold and salty. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so I went out to dinner with them, and uh, we were at dinner with. Uh, the Cobra Seats and the Valero guys. So I was at the table with like all the English guys. These guys are freaking <laughs> hilarious. I'm sure. It's wild. He kept giving the waitress a hard time about how good the tonic water had to be for his gin, for the gin and tonic. Oh, jeez. I need high quality tonic for my for my gin and tonic. Was it good enough? No, it wasn't. He sent it back. <laughs> sent it back like three times. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, it was bad. And then we went to a bar after that. There was a group of like 12 of us. And we walk up to this bar in downtown Indy, like right down the road. Yep. And one of the guys with us uh, from HMS, Austin, he's awesome. He knows everybody. Yesterday at our booth, Connor Daly was hanging out with him. Corey LaJoy is a full-time NASCAR Cup driver. Yes. hanging out with Austin. And so Joe, who owns HMS, walks up to me and goes, watch this. We're at the back of this line. There's like 200 people in front of us. Austin walks to the front, walks up to the bouncer talks to him for a second and waves us over and our entire group of 10 people walked in front of the line and went straight into the bar just blinders on don't look at the line don't look at the line just in go just go like some um sri i forget the name of the business they were sponsoring the the party that was there and austin knew that that was happening and his dad was one of their like first customers and knows the owner so he like Schmooze but it just like in. yeah, just yeah. like and, but like got ten of us in. It wasn't like three of us. It was like ten. Jeez. It was so we were there, and the, these guys were. I, I left at like ten thirty, but they were pounding drinks. No. And I got here this morning. They were all like an hour late, and they walk in and they're just like <laughs> sitting there looking at their laptop. Like looks like they're dead. I'm like how do you guys do it? It's not worth it. No, no, it's not worth it. I know I'm an old soul, but jeez. Yeah, yeah no. I did that once that when I was at, at Bobcat. I was. We went to a Twins game. It was like a, like a sales pitch, so they just threw drinks at us the whole time. I don't know why the intern got invited, but I got to go. <laughs> and then we went to the bar after the game on like a Wednesday. So we didn't get back to the city until like 2 in the morning. And then I was the only one that made it to work on time and the only one that worked a full day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, In- yeah. Overachieving intern over here. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd get fired if I showed up later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't care how miserable I am. I got to be here. Yeah. Oh, man. But that, that seems to be like the, the kind of culture of the event for a lot of people. Well, I think that's sales in general. Even worse at SEMA, it though, is. I would guess. Oh, SEMA's, yeah. yeah SEMA just been, has but, to be a party. Because it's in Vegas. Yeah. Right. It's and you don't crazy. even have to be in Vegas to get that mindset. Because like even when we last year went to the SCCA convention, the whole plane ride there, everyone was in Vegas already. Yeah. Guys were wasted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just ri- uh, ripping it up with the stewardess. Like, you could tell she was like not really happy. Yeah. 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 They wouldn't shut up. The that whole, whole waitress plane. last night. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Olivia. Yeah. She was uh, put up with a lot. Yeah. Have you ever eaten at this place next door? This is Dick's last resort. No, but I've been. I tried to go in there the other night. And Baker's like, "No, we're not going into Dick's." I or Robbie and I joke about it every year we come here, but none of us. I don't think I have the 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 conscience that can handle <laughs> being made fun of while I. I, I don't need to cry yeah. that much. 
I cry enough on my own. Yeah, my life is, I'm <laughs> sad all the time. Resort. I don't How need do someone think? reminding me. <laughs> it's like the opposite of Twin Peaks, I guess. I don't yeah, I like, see. I, I, I could go to I Twin know. Peaks. I'd enjoy that. Yeah, <laughs> I'd make great burgers. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand how they how they're still in business. It's like a derogatory name. It's like you suck. Eat here. Yeah, is that so what it is? The, they make fun of you. Like you get you wear a hat, and they like put insults on the hat and stuff. Even yeah. I don't. I don't get it, man. But I suppose I mean it's like like a roast. You know, people yes, love the I'm roast. Sure funny, if, but, if, you, yeah. if you have the ability it's, to handle it, and don't take man. it personally. Either. Yeah, that's true. It, it could, could be, be that way. Nobody's that way. I Apparently, not anymore. Would, yeah. I thought that we were more woke than that. We are yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, 2019, where society decides that everything's offensive. I, I'm offended by that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, millennials. Hey, well, yeah. I think we're all millennials. That yes. Be, be <laughs> Smack dab in the middle of the millennial generation. Yeah. My sister's a Gen Z. She's like the next. She was born in 99. Oh, it's going to be her. She's like so, so she's just yeah. outside. But she, yeah. Her like traits are more Gen Z where like her phone is an appendage, oh, you know. Uh, she's not too bad. Mine's a necessary though. evil. Yeah, I'm the same way. I can turn my phone off and forget about it for three days. I, I'm more of an appendage on mine. I, I'm i bad. I admit it, but I know it. I just, yeah, it is what it is. Yep. Yeah. When I'm at the office, I like, I mean, I, I overuse it, but like on vacation, like I literally will like lose it. But I'm also, I mean, you guys see me at the booth. I'm like, like I, I'm yeah, very yeah, ADHD, yeah. Yeah, like talking to all everybody. Over the place. So like, I, I don't even realize if I've lost my phone, you know. Well, that and you're, you know, super polite. So, like, if someone comes up to you, you don't want to keep them waiting. Yeah. So, I mean, you're, you're a people That's person. True. So, it just it just seems like... To a up, fault. Yep, yeah. 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 Someone yeah. comes up. It's like, oh, I don't want to I don't make them wait. But I also yeah. don't want to be rude to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to talk to everybody. I'm going to hide my phone and hope no one talks to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was... Well, the, the first year we came to PRI, my, both of my business partners were a lot more introverted. And so, I was basically... They were basically behind the booth. And I was, like, out front the whole time. Yep, yep. And uh, so, we figured out how that works. You know, like, okay, I'll go to trade shows from now on. How many years have you been coming here? <sighs> this is our fourth year. Fourth, year? Really? Wow. Yeah. We, so you're first one year up on us, then I think. Yeah, 2017. This is our third, 17. right? 2016. I honestly don't know because I can Pretty never sure remember how how many year. times I've been here because they all blur together. Because they're all. The one time I was so sick, I don't think I was technically here. Robbie, we were, the first year we came here, we were like legit barely here for 24 hours, and Robbie was dying the whole time. Like he slept on one of those couches over there for like two hours. I was, <laughs> he was I just was gone. So sick. <laughs> he was so. sick. And we, and we, there was like no medicine, so I, like on the drive home, we finally got some Sudafed. Yeah, that, there's oh man, there's funny. nowhere to buy meds around here. Yeah, because there's the, we did finally find a Walgreens last there's year. A Walgreens like yeah. half a mile down the road here. Yep. Yeah. If you walk to it, so Baker forgot it. socks. Oh, so we've had the same problem. And he and he used to work for like a grocery company that distributed uh, stuff to like Circle K. And he's like, I remember selling socks to Circle K. So I got I got to find a Circle K and go get some socks or something. But I've had to loan him my socks all week. <laughs> like, just give up yesterday's socks. Like he brought like Apex Pro inventory instead of his socks in his bag. It's like a well, trade off on his uh, priorities are good. But he he actually forgot his socks. But that's There's, what he leads you to believe. Most grid lives that we go to, I usually end up having to go and buy all the things that I was supposed to bring and didn't forgot. Just just that you probably one already year, owned. One year I bought. I had to. I forgot my sleeping bag. I forgot my pillow. I forgot my air mattress. I forgot. <laughs> that's unbelievable. He showed up with like a grocery bag half full. He's like, I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. go. You don't have anything. Life, guys. Yeah. I'll just buy it when I get there. It's even fine. even this week, too. Like, I have my bag. <laughs> I got all kinds of shit. My it's bag like of clothes, which is like, I bet I have a week's worth of clothes just in case. Cause I, again, I, even today, too, I wore this, the SEC National sh- uh, t-shirt so I'm trying to explain to s- potential sponsors that I'm not part of the SEC Nationals group yeah. so like that's a whole separate group I'm a region our, our region is different rule sets which means it's okay to give me stuff to give to our drivers like yeah we had a meeting with the you know with the Nationals like, oh that's not gonna it's work it's different and then I'm yeah. making it way worse by wearing a Nationals t-shirt so, yeah. but, so it, it's been good though I, I, it's been really great but then like, yeah he, I have that bag our, our bag full of podcast stuff I didn't know what our sleeping arrangements were, so I have a uh, sleeping bag, pillow, a helmet in case I decide to do go karts, um, a bag full of stuff to give to people like Kanga Motorsport shirts, and some other stuff. He shows up with a cooler and a grocery bag. That's a, it's a backpack. It's like half full, and it, it just comes That's running it. up. To, he comes running up to the car. I'm like, <laughs> we're going to Walmart. <laughs> yep. And hey, I, mean, I didn't. No, nope, I don't think he, I forgot anything that I needed for, this time. He didn't forget That's anything. Impressive. We're good. Well, so I I knew we were staying in an Airbnb, 
So I was like, well, I mean, they'll probably have bedding, or they won't. I'll just go buy some. It's fine. It's whatever, you know. Yeah, it's like a yeah. se- it's like a seven bedroom house. Like it's yeah. it's a great so, setup. It's awesome. great. And they have my closet has a bunch of like extra pillows and blankets and stuff oh, too. Sweet. So. You're all set. We were way over, yeah. over yeah. prepared. Oh, fine. man. We're well, sleeping in a king was, bedroom. Like, oh, no. We all have our own was, bedrooms. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> and I, like, sharing. Like, I'm on the couch, you know, on the pullout. He's on the he's on the bed. It's like... Dude, we've got extra bedrooms, there. even. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, cause we're, yeah, we're with the guys from Petrobox. There's th- three of them. And I guess Eman's with his wife. So, four of them and then us. So, it's this a seven is... seven bedrooms. Yeah, extra yeah. room. And oh, wow. Everyone's got their own room. room I'm in. Jeez. It's, that's that's the nicest that setup we've ever had. There's, yeah. two, there's two kitchens, two bathrooms. Like, dude, it's set up. Wow. It's legit. I'm in for next year. Just, just let me know. Yeah. That sounds awesome. We'll do like a 10 tenths house. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. So what what have y'all seen so far this year that's like, that's that's cool? I haven't been able to walk the show much. I've only gone around to see like our dealers and, yep. you know, people we like deal with. Like legit business stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, trying to make sure that. We keep selling stuff, right? Yep. But like, what what have you seen that's like caught your eye and been like, "Oh, that's cool." What I've been really impressed with is the amount of time attack stuff here. That seems to keep growing every year. Because um, it used to be like, the like first couple of years it was circle track and drag racing, and then everything else kind of you know fall in between. This year, there's a lot more time attack, and drift seems to be fully embraced. Not yeah, well, maybe not fully embraced, but like it's it's being embraced. Yeah. So you got two drift cars here, uh, JTP's car sitting in a booth. You have big banners um, as you walk into the main hall with. Uh, k- JTP and Chelsea Genofa tandeming, like from an FD event. You know, it's like a hundred, or not hundred. What? How big would that be? Like a twenty-five foot banner. Yeah, it's a big. It's, it's one. Huge. It's like the main banners. You walk in the main hall through yeah. the main door. Oh, that's cool. That's it's, it's just drift cars right over that, which is really weird because. I think they're still kind of the redheaded stepchild of motorsports, right. you know. But it's nice to see them embrace it at the serious show. I mean, I understand you're going to do like drift events and like demos and stuff at SEMA, but doing it here and like letting it be part of what I consider like the serious motorsport yeah, trade the show, the hardcore motorsports yes. trade show. Yeah, it, it, it's it's good for everybody. I think it shows that the industry is embracing that the industry is moving a little bit in a different direction for the youths, the youths, the kids, the, youths, these, the, the, the kids youths. these days, us, us yeah. millennials, yeah, yeah. But like people at this table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, it's good to see everything being embraced seriously instead of just being a gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely see that. It seems like each year I've come, it's more, there's more uh, road racing relevant stuff and more drift relevant stuff, more time attack specific type stuff. Like those, those seem to be the growth places in the industry. I'm you know? surprised there's, there's multiple booths that have time attack cars as their centerpieces, which is cool. That's yeah. great. So yeah, it's gotta be good for those guys. I mean, it, it seems like there's pretty good ROI like for some time attack stuff now, like, or they're starting to be. For, yeah. That's know, great to see. Cause it's my, it's my thing. <laughs> yeah. I love time attack. Yep. Dude, I love listening about the, the nine, six, eight, oh, uh, you know, dude, Sydney, time here. attack. Is there? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I, Elmer, I Elmer Racing has it. a booth here, oh, so they have the cool. they yeah, have the four liter billet motor here. Wow, it, it's wild. That blew my mind. Was like because I have a nine forty four street car, right? Yeah, pretty you know, similar. With, yeah, similar to the nine six eight, but like obviously that car. There's no. There's, there's not nine. In, there's yeah. no nine. So I kind of looked at it. They have to have most of the floor pan and firewall still has to be there, but you can hack a lot of it up. So like, but forward of the of the firewall is all tube tube chassis and but basically behind the driver compartment is all tube chassis that's fine yeah it's still a car it's still considered a like yeah, it's still a yeah it's still a factory car i guess wow. yeah close enough but it's all carbon fiber and, and you know the crash structure is gone because it's all the roll cage and all that stuff yeah and, it's that wild. video is so cool. It's like fast forward. It is. Oh, yeah. isn't it? You, so, you it's so watched nuts. it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, it's another that, world. That, like turn one, and he goes in there, and he kind of feathers the throttle like half the way through it, but he's pretty much flat. Yeah. The whole way. Yeah. It's wild. This year there was a, I guess, a, a headwind or something like that. Last year he took that corner flat. That car is capable of taking that corner completely flat. Wow. Yeah, it's wild. So absolutely insane. I can't imagine a production based car. Like it's one thing for a formula car to go that fast. Yeah. But it's a whole nother thing. There's just so a like, couple tenths off of a, f- a Formula 2 car record. Track that's, record there. That's so gnarly. It's wild. Yeah, that's cool. We, we've we've sold so some, some stuff to Australia, and I've, I've been oh, trying really? to find that's it. Actually, cool. some guys uh, came by our booth today that, that bought a unit to take down there, and I've, they have such a strong motorsports culture. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. I want to I hope that grows. It'd be know. hard to get into it, I would think, like to 
Yeah, you gotta find the right from person. Here. Yeah, you just gotta find the right person from yeah, here. It's it's hard to do business in that. Like, you know, and, and everybody says in the digital age, and you can do a lot remotely, but like everything that we do, like our ROI and like all the dealers we've gotten, all the best partnerships we built, it's all direct face to face, like relationships sure. you build with people. I'm I mean, sure. Then nothing replaces it. So that's the hard thing about going international is you really have to know the people that you're dealing with. You gotta be able to communicate with them. And it's not easy to do on the other side of the world. Yeah. But We'll see. It's growing. So, so that was, what, have, what have you seen? Uh, you mostly, around mostly around the Apex Pro booth. Right. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> uh, no, I went over to. Uh, I saw like some of the stuff at the AIM booth today. Um, some you see that Palatov that's in there. Oh, you said AIM. AIM. Sorry, I'm thinking AEM. Oh no, I, I have not. Two been very to different the AIM things. Booth. Yes, yes. Uh, you're right, allowed right. to be like around the AIM guys. Yeah, yeah. are you over yeah. there just like not, starting to rumble? Yeah, like you just this is to, our turf. Yeah, that's Three, right. Dude, they, they all know who I am. Your way yeah. over there or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah West Side exactly. Story he pulls stuff. out his switchblade. <laughs> Yeah. This is Let's ours. Go. Let's go. <laughs> this is Apex Country. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is this is going to be Apex, bro. No, I kind of like being like the the underdog a little bit, and like um, it, like there's definitely a lot of our customers that specifically will say, Aim Ray Studio software is is too cumbersome. So I use your product now for sure. Right. Like that's that's definitely. But at the same time. Uh, we kind of want to embrace like the got milk campaign, you know, like, yeah, we're not saying buy milk from my dairy. We're saying just buy get, milk. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So buy data. Right. And, right. And that helps you improve as a driver. And that's basically the message. So we don't really wish anything like, I don't know, there's, there's space in the market to grow because not everybody sees the value in data yet. For sure. You know? it, and that's that's, it's really kind of a to tough do. sell until you realize how valuable it is. Yeah, exactly. You convince yourself you don't need it and then realize this is way more valuable than anything I'm spending my other mo- my money on. Yeah, and, and a lot of times you just put other priorities in front of it, and yep. if your goal really is to, to go fast on the track and to beat people, it's got to be a, a top priority, right? It just does, but um, you know, a lot of people that enjoy, and that comes kind of back to our conversation. We had a little bit about the car enthusiasts versus driving enthusiasts. Yeah. Yep. I mean, a lot of people that like really just want to invest in their car because they like messing with their car, right? And I, there's but, bil- yeah, builders out there, not necessarily drivers. Exactly. So there's there's also that element of it. Like our product really caters towards the like towards uh, measuring yourself as a driver, right? Yep. And like, yep. being objective about your driving, and that's why <clears throat> yeah, I can go over to their booth and they know that like we don't build dashes and stuff like that yeah so you're not you're not vehicle monitoring direct competitors in every market right yeah so and it's cool to see what they're doing um they're they're italian so their design is very good you know they have some really neat products those dashes are so nice oh yeah they're so fancy yeah 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 yeah, they're very fancy fancy is a great word yeah yeah but that's like the you know like i mentioned earlier like I, i think i'm more of like a I don't know, like as a kid, I remember being at like summer camp and seeing like a like a dirt path like through some trees, and I'd be like, "Oh man, what, I, like it'd be so cool to just like rip down that in something." Like, yeah. what about like that school bus or like that, you know, <laughs> right. whatever, right? And that's what I've always like visualized and thought of, you know, like anything. Like, grew up playing flight simulator and like all the video games, right? That's and uh, and became a car and like my dad's a really big car enthusiast, and that kind of rubbed off on me. And, oh, for sure. And um, but I think I'm more purely like. I just want to drive fast, right? Like, that's what I really love. Yeah, so he's um, the car enthusiast or the driving enthusiast. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. I don't know where I and my father would fall in that. Again, I'm... I think I, in general, probably lean more towards car enthusiast than driving enthusiast, just because I don't drive that much. For now, But yeah. clearly, like, if I, if I was that worried about the driving, I would have figured it out by now, but it's not the yep. priority for me, so... But... My dad's very much kind of down the bolt, down the road of both, but he likes drag racing. It's, yeah, it's a different kind of driving, you know. I've started to learn about some drag racing recently because we we would love to get involved in that world because it's I don't know anything about it and I think you it's curious how data would help with that. Like I'm not yeah. like, I'm just you, how legitimately how have you ever done anything with circle track guys? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but not. It just hasn't been a dedicated market for us. Um, I don't think that. That's a world where nobody uses data. Oh, nobody. Yeah. No. A lot of series say that you can't use data. It's like, oh, really? really? Yeah, yeah, a lot of them outlaw it, circle track stuff, especially dirt track stuff. That's A lot lame. of guys use it testing. Makes sense. Um, but I talk to a bunch of those guys here every year, and I'm just trying to find the right guy that wants to, like, kind of help us jump into the industry. And so far, it's just been tons of people that have said, yeah, we'll do it, and then it doesn't pan out. Yeah. But Yeah, it's a um, big thing around us. You know, yeah. a lot of people I know that have family members that own cars and do that stuff. Yeah. 
So I'm all about it. I'd I love to get up, in a circle track. I grew car. up helping my dad crew for figure eight race cars and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. which is the wildest. Race. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Putting an intersection in yeah. a racetrack. Yeah, out of control. And Alabama, we got plenty of dirt tracks. I've, I'm I've, sure I've seen it. It's good stuff. We have a, there's there's one close to me that's that's a dedicated figure eight track. Like that's all that doesn't have a circle configuration. That's awesome. That's all they do there. Wow. They do eight or ten races a year, and it's just figure eights. Is that what dirt or? It's dirt. Okay. It's got a pretty good banked corner, or the you know the corners are pretty well banked, and and those guys, dude, it's the most anxiety inducing thing I've ever seen in my life. It's out of control. (laughs) That's wild. That's uh, figure eight racing. Totally crazy. Yeah. What was guys thinking? It's a lot of fun though. It's yeah. fun to watch as long as you don't really have like any emotional attachment to any of the drivers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just just assume that they're going to eventually not do this anymore, and their car is going to get broken. Yeah, that's when? a build a new not, car not every if. year type yep. of deal. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You really got to enjoy. I'm, I'm such a terrible mechanic. Like it's so funny to come from a guy that's like I spent my entire life, my entire life around cars. I've had dirt bikes since I was a kid. Yep. I've worked on stuff as long as I can remember. I've never gotten good at it, ever. <laughs> I did Formula SA for four years in college. I built my own race car from the ground up. Yep. I'm still a terrible mechanic. Huh. Like, a bad mechanic. And I've always, like, really had a hard time, like, coming to grips with that. Like, why can I not, why am I not good at this? I've done it so much. Yeah, like, so you, you'd think just by uh, the sheer amount of time and effort you put into it, it'd just be second nature at this point. It's not. It's like, I can change my oil pretty proficiently. Nice. You know. I would hope so. <laughs> I, can do, I can do brake pads. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Good. The, the basic maintenance. Yeah. But don't trust me with, like, anything serious. It's, uh... Right, he's I'm, not doing a head gasket. So. No, no, no. Don't <laughs> let me do it. My, my 944 had a head gasket start to go, and I, I did not do that myself. No. No. That's a little too much, but it's I funny. just drive until the engine blows up and then just park it in my driveway and buy something else. <laughs> buy something else. It's a pretty good strategy. It's, it's been my stress. <laughs> I've got five cars now, because that's my strategy. It's not working out for me. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I just never hilarious. stop wrenching, ever. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I hear all your like it's you not talking stop, about man. like, man, I wish I could do that. I'm just so bad. Well, then it's like as soon as I get one project done, I, I go look at the Z. I was like, well, I could tear into you now. <laughs> yeah. and it just n- it never stops, man. Oh man, you say that like you hate it. Though. I don't hate it. I, I my bank account hates it. My yeah, wife hates your bank, the bank account, account. Hates yeah, all but, of this stuff. Like that's yeah. whether you were wrenching on them or just. You, know, you went out and bought a brand new Corvette with a warranty, and you didn't have to ever warranty. wrench on it. You'd still your bank account would hate you either way. Oh yeah, that's true. And I got a supportive wife; she appreciates it. She yeah. thinks it's cool that I can wrench, and, and I that is super I have cool. a product. Like, you know, my my wife healthy, thinks hobby, I'm a great mechanic, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to perpetuate that stereotype. That's great because I've put a battery in her car. I do the windshield wipers. <laughs> I've changed her oil. I've rotated her tires. Superman down, over here, slow down, crushing it. She's like, she's like, you're so good. But but my father in law is like he like he sees through the lies. Uh, oh well, of course he's so he's. I don't even know how to explain it. He's like like if if there's an apocalypse, I'm going to Ron Waller's house. Yeah, <laughs> like this dude, he will t- he will knock a tree down in the woods and carve it into a table. All right, oh, that's, that's give it to somebody. Perfect. That's like he is so resourceful, and he's. He sold a couple of businesses in the outdoor product space. Um, his his grandfather actually invented Summit tree stands. Oh, his, his father yep. did Summit tree stands. So yep. like, and he was the lead engineer for tr- the tree stand company forever. Like the biggest brand That's in crazy. tree stands. Wow, yeah, That's crazy. super good, cool. Good for him. Um, Decatur, Alabama. Yep. Yeah, who yep. would have thought it? But um, he's so resourceful. Like he does all the maintenance on their cars himself. Like everything, and it's it's so wild because he doesn't have to, but he just like. Oh, he's Chooses ten times better with his hands than I am. It's like, yeah, but yeah, sitting at family reunions, like awfully soft hands you got there, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like What's race car driver hands. Yeah, yeah, don't touch the car. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, it was tough, like running running my own team and like having one other guy that was a wrench with me, and like yep, yep. I had to do like yeah. a, bulk, a lot of the Figure work. It out. Yeah, and so I I can like struggle through a project, but I've always been good at uh, at figuring out who's good at what and getting more people involved that can help, and that's always kind of been my skill set. So yeah, good, good management been skills. Been able and... to avoid the, um, you know, not the lack of, of skill, right? But, like, I have the same problem you would. Like, if, you, if I got a brand new car with a warranty that I was going to take to the track, I couldn't not do something to it because well, yeah. I would drive it and be like, oh, I got to do this, right? And so But I'm not good at it. This is an understeering yeah. pig. I got to fix this. Right, I got to fix it. We need a roll bar on this thing ASAP, right? <laughs> and I, and the, the, the an irritating thing is I'm not, like, competent enough to do that myself, so like that's my condition. It's like, just, it's, at least you know it because there's yeah. too many people out there who are like 
I can do this. Yeah. But they can't. No, I cannot do this. Yeah, I can't handle it. Know that. Confidence is, is like half of it. You just yeah. got to walk in there going, I could do this. That is true. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm, I'll get that way too. Like, I know I can do it. I've done it before. Or like, like when I was fixing the avalanche this last time, I had the head off. I was, you know, replacing the head. You know, uh, what was I, what was I doing? Replacing the oil pump. I was all the way down in. Pump, oil pump's almost out. I'm like, take one, you know, I take a step back and look at it going, this is completely disassembled. <laughs> I am um, an idiot. <laughs> I am in over my head. I just got to take a step back and just go, just keep going. I mean, you, you can't stop now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do, tow it to a mechanic <laughs> shop? I won't do that. It has to be completely broken for me yeah. to do that. I can't oh, admit man. defeat. I, I almost I started, got a podcast. Uh, that's right. I have to tell uh, people I'm good at this. Yeah, people, yeah. people are going to shame you on the internet. Yeah, I, can't, right. I can't give up. <laughs> I almost started to do uh, injectors. I had a, a Ram, like a uh, Cummins-powered Ram truck. Yeah. That was my tow vehicle. Almost did injectors. Almost started doing it myself. And then I, I, I like <laughs> pulled up like a factory manual, like how to do it. And I was like, oh, no, you don't do this yourself. Some, someone else can do that. Yeah, I just would never have pegged you. You're, you're, you're like a diesel, the, bro. You're the Brodos, I'm a diesel guy. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we learned that bro yesterday. Yeah. Never I love ever diesel trucks. Yeah. What, do you, what do you drive? I'm an F250. Yeah. How big is your exhaust pipe? Oh, it's totally stock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's completely stock. Except yeah. for that sweet tune he put on. Yeah, he did put a sweet I tune. I stole Baker's it. tuner. Yeah. <laughs> tell us. Tell the story of that. Because he <laughs> told us yesterday, and it's still. I'm laughing about so, it. 24 uh, hours later. So, so Baker's kind of a hope. When I met Baker, he had a 1954 Dodge M37. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> yes. Like a car guy's dream. Awesome machine. Totally a tractor. So I knew he was like a good dude right off the bat. Yeah, for like, sure. Got to got to work with this guy. So I, I talked him into. Long story short, he's he's got like a truck weakness, like off road vehicle. You know, like, like we all kind of have a little bit, right? Like, you know, if you like cars, odds are you like, you can figure out lots of ways to use them, right? For sure. Yeah. Um, so I, I bought my truck. I've got a 2000 F250 that's kind of like our go to the track vehicle. Like, like, I like a tow pig? Or? Yeah, kind of, kind of the tow vehicle. We throw everything in the back. Take our Apex Pro display there. Yep. It's got 70,000 miles on it. It's a Just brand nothing. new vehicle. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. And it's a 2000, so it's got forged rods. Uh, it's like the like they went to powder centered rods in 01 and that and the 73 diesels huh. or 02. Oh, someone can correct me. Someone can like someone don't, will correct. Someone, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Please correct me. Someone will know yeah. the answer. Um, so I talked Baker into a 73 and he found one locally. Immediately had to do two thousand dollars worth of work to it. You know, I bought mine. It's been perfect. Nothing's ever <laughs> gone wrong with it. It's a seventy thousand miles, right? It's like it's, every it's 73 in the world's got half a million miles on it. And uh, so he bought it one. Twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, super Jesus. expensive. Crazy, and uh, I got a killer deal on mine too. Thanks, Norm and Talladega. Probably not <laughs> listening, but uh, you don't know. This is very yeah. popular. <laughs> That's right. You'll hear it. Um, so I talked Baker into one, and it came with a, a super chip programmer. Yes. And uh, so he had he's he detuned it from the the high performance tune back to like the stock tune. Something you could count on. Yeah. It's like, hey man, can I can I like plug in your programmer? I did no research beforehand about like how this would work, and I was like, I'm just gonna plug it into mine. And so I tuned mine to the high performance tune, ripped around for a couple of days with it. I was like, oh yeah, cool. He plugs it back into his truck. And it won't. It like locks out. It's like oh. like VIN does not match. Locked. <laughs> <laughs> he was so pissed. Is there a way around oh, that, or you just totally? You have to buy another one. Basically, oh. yeah. They don't support it anymore. It was an older one. It's like two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, Dang it! I told him I would buy him one, but I think he enjoys holding it over me so much oh, that he won't let me buy him one. Yeah, exactly. So like, no, don't worry about it, man. That's a way more funny story. Yeah. Now he doesn't now, let you fix it, right? And now he can bring it up to us and tell us. Yeah, tell us exactly. How he, now we can he locked me out of my own truck. It's great. Exactly. So but I, I put mine back to stock because it would still connect to my truck because I, I stole his tuner. Apparently, thinks <laughs> my truck's his truck. Uh, but yeah, I've had. So this is my my fourth diesel truck. I've had four. I only like. I really only like them because I got into towing race cars and right, I tow yeah, them. Yeah, I'm not sense. like a, super put big wheels and tires on them. I've had always mostly stock diesel trucks, but yeah, I've had it's, three it's with manual transmissions, one Ooh, automatic. So I'm like, nice. interesting. I'm like a diesel with a manual guy. That, that can't be super common. Those trucks? Uh, no, it's kind of hard to find. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one. Yeah, so Dodge just stopped offering it this past year. Like you can get a you can get like a 2018 Ram with a Cummins with a stick. Weird. Hell Super yeah! Cool. I think I might have actually known that, but might be the yeah. most enthusiast thing about it. I've never seen it one. Is. 
and they literally only made it for the enthusiast market. They're like after like 2009 or 2010, they're like there is zero performance benefit. Right, they can't put as much torque through it. Like there's like there's no reason to do it. People just want it. There's got to be like what 300 out there yeah. every year. <laughs> yeah, there's there's not a ton there, but but you'll find them. Like if you if you Google them Weird. to find like a like a like a like a four door four wheel drive Ram 2500 with a stick. It's hard to do, but <laughs> they're sure. worth a lot of money. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To the right buyer, they're worth anything. I don't know what it is, but it's super fun to drive. It's like you're in a semi. Like, it takes an hour to shift gears. <laughs> How many gears? Uh, mine's a five. It's technically five with a granny. Okay. So you got like a low gear, like a like a hauling gear. Yeah. You got a big load. Yep. And then, yeah. Which you never use. You never use it. Yep. No. It's You can go 10 miles an hour. Yeah. Great. Some of our bigger trucks that I have at work have manuals and you start in second you never use first oh, yeah just feather out the clutch in yeah, second yeah it's fine yeah <laughs> fuck it yeah oh yeah it's so much torque the Dude, flywheel's the so top huge top end of first gear and some of those is like legit seven miles an hour <laughs> oh yeah it's not worth it no yeah. there's no point in even doing it I daily drive mine it's kind of a pain to be honest but <laughs> <laughs> it's got a long What's bed the, <laughs> Well, you don't live in like a small town no, either no I live right in the middle of the city pretty much yes yeah. Our, we, we work like yeah, our, our office is in downtown Birmingham, but but it's really close to where I live, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I just, just can't park in downtown. Say it's sticking way out. You have, in the oh, you live in like an apartment, or yeah, yeah, we have an apartment. <laughs> just like street parking, bad boy, <laughs> no, or it's, what? It's kind of unique. It's like a little duplex, and we have our own little parking area. Okay, but I'm pretty sure the lady. So we live on the top. And there's this lady below us, and I never got to know her name, so I call her a different woman's name every time we see her. Okay. Um, so Dolores or Kimberly or whatever, she <laughs> she thinks <laughs> she thinks that that my wife is like sleeping with two different dudes because I don't have room to park both of my cars there. Oh. Okay. I had, so I have, I have my eighty eight nine forty four right uh, Porsche, and I have my F two fifty. So I drive the truck most. Those of the are time, dramatically different cars. They're totally <laughs> dichotomously, like, totally on the opposite. There's no way someone drives think both the same yeah. thing. I mean. Right. So you would never. No. So, like, I leave my 944 at my parents' house, and I'll go swap, and I'll drive it for, like, a week. Yep. And so I'll park it for a week, and I, I hardly ever see her. I don't see Dolores or, you know. Yeah, whatever. whatever. It was Jennifer. <laughs> and so I'll, like, drive that for a week, and then all of a sudden, the big white f two fifties back. <laughs> Plus, you travel a lot, so I bet the car's gone it's not, it's regularly. Gone so it's regularly. Like, yeah. There's a Porsche for a week, nothing. She's so Pick confused. up for a week, nothing. <laughs> yeah. What is this girl up to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she thinks my wife has like got like all sorts of stuff going on. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Like That's yeah. great. The same dude can't own these two cars. No, no it's way. Weird. That is, that's got to be a little bit of a... That's that's a pretty small Venn diagram. It is for yeah. sure. Yeah, definitely. So if, if there's a uh, F two fifty and nine forty four turbo enthusiast group out there, somebody let me know, and I'm I'm in. I'll be the the leader. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of You'll, guys with F two fifties that tow their nine four fours to the track. Yeah, there has to be. But they're probably f- like full on track cars. And yeah. daily the nine four four. Yeah, mine's well. a street car. It's like <laughs> it's totally a daily drivable car. There's, Way more convenient to drive it daily too. There's I'm a guy sure. that lives like just maybe six or eight blocks away from me who dailies a 944 and he has he's a champ he has at least one uh like older air-cooled 911 and then i think he i think he actually owns at least two 944s but one of them is not the daily yeah and i think it the uh, the not daily one is a turbo and then the daily one is not. That makes sense. I the, think much less likely the turbo will run every day. Right, but yeah. like I'll be driving, driving along, and there he is, like out in a snowstorm, just driving his nine four four to like the grocery store <laughs> or whatever. Awesome. Like, oh man, so that I, guy's a champion. I daily mine for eighteen months, uh, and then before that, I had an eighty three nine forty four without with no power, no power steering car. Yes, like, fun. I dailyed that for uh, <laughs> for no ABS, no power steering, nothing. It had the sport wheel too, a little Momo wheel. So <laughs> you like if you were in a parking spot, you had to freaking crank the thing, like just full on arm workout. You should have seen his arms back then, yeah. <laughs> back yeah. in the day. But it was, I had some like really, really awful Sumitomo all seasons on it. Oh, and if you were going yes. downhill in the wet, you would <laughs> literally just lock up and slide diabolically sideways down the hill. Sketchy. I let my 16 year old sister drive it to school one day because her car was in the shop. Oh no. And she's a great driver, fantastic driver. But I was like, I was, it started raining. I called her immediately. I was like, do not touch touch the brake pedal going down a hill in the wet like you would drive like, cautiously <laughs> extremely <and> cautiously slowly 
Jesus. Oh, man. But, yeah, I, I dailyed my car. So I actually moved. That's a pretty good story. I moved uh, into the last apartment I lived in. My only car is my 944. So my, that was my daily. It has 170,000 miles on it. It's That's like, the only It's not one. like a fresh one. <laughs> yeah. It's like... It's like been driven. Yeah. It drives great. Drives fine. That's Makes awesome. a new noise every time I get in it, right? But it still runs. So That's, it, that's old car life. It's yeah, fine. That's, that's part I, of it. I fit all of my belongings in it to, to go to my <laughs> new apartment. I think my I think uh, Lita, my wife, followed me. This, she was my girlfriend at the time. But yep. she, she followed behind me in her car and had a couple of things in there. But I had my mattress sticking out the hatch. And I'd ratchet strapped <laughs> the hatch down on top of the mattress. Nice. And I was still like ripping through the gears. You know, Hell like, yeah, it's I'm a Porsche. And it's like puffing a puff of smoke out. Like, <laughs> whoosh, you know, full boost. <laughs> well, here we go. That was wild. She thought it was like the trashiest thing we've ever done. I, was like, I can't believe you put your mattress in the back of that car. It's, like, it's, it's, it's a Porsche. Stuff all the time. My only car. It's a Porsche. It's, yeah. No matter what you do, it's classy. Yeah, yeah you, can't, right. you can't be trashy in a Porsche. Yeah, no. it's not possible. Yeah, people give me weird looks driving that car. I expect to see a fifty-year-old man. So, you know, what's what's wrong with you? You're having a forty-year-old. Did your dad know that you took your his car? Out of the garage? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, all right, Ferris, bring it home. Yeah, the best thing about it is my dad has like, <laughs> and my dad's kind of a kind of a Porsche guy as as well. But like, he's got a like a period '80s Porsche like windbreaker. <laughs> oh, nice, yes. so rad. Yes, <laughs> and I, I took it from him, so I wear it. it's like black and red. And it says Porsche on the back, it's like a puffy big windbreaker. It's so dumb. It's got to. It's got to oh, fit, so fit the car, man. It's like my Dodge boys have more fun jacket. It, it, it's period <laughs> correct. You need to wear it. So yeah, that's that's full on. Like yeah, I lived the dailies of driving a like a forty year old sports car for for quite a while. That's fun. The daily you know trials. Speaking of your dad, how many how many enthusiast cars does he have? Right now he only has one. Is that the one that's for sale? Yes. Oh no. Yeah, he's been through a lot over the years, but yeah. he's currently got the super performance. Um, for G- the GT40. Okay. And that's on Bring a Trailer as we speak. It is literally on Bring a Trailer right now. Which will be sold by the time this comes out, because I'm not sure when we're going to release this. But yeah, it, you're, big money, big money. Big, big money. money. No let's kidding. Hope, let's hope for it. Well, yeah. It's at what? 50K it's, it's in at what, a day? 64 right now. Yeah, there's oh, nice. six days left. Went up quite a ways. Yeah, yeah, it has. That's I've awesome. talked to like three of the bidders. They've called me and want to know more about it. and. I saw, I saw yeah. someone comment. Is this the one that got crashed? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Can you confirm it's been it's straight? Yeah. And I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah, what's funny is like, and, and I would never do this because the auction asked me, like, has it had body work done? So, yeah, of course, to be honest. Has, but, yeah. but the like, if you got in the car today and drove it and owned it and lived with it, you would never know it's been crashed. No, it's, it's, it's perfectly sure. repaired. And it's a race car. So, like, when a, when the $14 million Ferrari 250 GTO sells, no one asks if it's been crashed. Right. It's a race car. This right. is a super form. It's, 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 a, it's a race car. It's a, it, um, that's so, part of its life. Yeah, it's had 2,000 miles put on it since then. So, But it, it seems like from the comments, it's not really going to be a big deal. It shouldn't be. I mean, you're not trying to sell a, a pristine original for X million dollars. You know, it's yeah. it, it it's a super performance. It's, it is what it is. And I mean, you got the full history on it. Yeah. It's cool to see the comments too. One of the guy, the guy that was like the, like the service writer or something at the dealership where the chassis was bought commented on there. Yep, I saw that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, he just like, kind of confirmed everything. He was like, I remember we took delivery on this and yeah, yep. it was neat. That's man. rad. Yeah. I appreciate your help too with the, with the <laughs> haters on my Facebook post. <laughs> I don't understand A it. couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So he, yeah, you saw it, but we'll kind of put it out there for everybody. So you posted the for sale before it went to bring a trailer and yep. you had pictures of the car and just kind of the description and some which would be your air quote friend on Facebook right comments and goes you know this price is ridiculous and it, you know I've I don't know if it was pitting or crewing um, RCR cars and you can go way faster and I won with those and those are you know this isn't worth anywhere near so then I, you were you messaged me you're like I don't I, don't, I kind of want to troll this guy I'm like ah oh. Uh, as you're like, as, 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 you, as a sponsor of the show, this is uh, this is this isn't an official sponsorship, but this comes with the sponsorship, and I will uh, provide I'll take, service. I'll take care of this. <laughs> so, I, I legitimately spent time looking up your car, all the specs, finding a comparable car on eBay, having an argument, and then putting it in the comment section. Like I linked the eBay page, which is like another super performance for like. Three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and, oh. and it's a yeah. very comparable oh. car. Yeah, very comparable, very similar, not the same, but very similar. So, I just linked it to that, and then I made the comment: "Is like you comparing an RCR to this car 
is the equivalent to me saying a Datsun 240 with a bunch of mods is better than a 2000 GT Toyota. And he was so offended. <laughs> he was hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag triggered. I still feel that's a legitimate, that's a legitimate gripe. I, Robbie, I, Robbie loves the 2000 GT. Oh, it's I a do. good car. I do. What was the Bond so that, movie where they had the convertible price. one? Like oh. the, yeah. And, and, and yeah, it's, 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 the, it's an amazing car. And yeah, you could build a 240Z for less money that would go faster. But that's not what yeah. we're doing here. That's no, not an apples not to apples yeah. comparison. No, no, I was like, I was like, dude, Superformance licensed the name. Yeah, the chassis yeah. code is GT forty P. The yeah. chassis number. Yeah, this is, which is the leg- original. Name. That's a legitimate original you continuation. Buy, like, continuation cars from them. Yeah, or this like car's that? a continuation. Is it? Is yeah. that how that? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. So that's, that's, and that's why the GT40 price is triple. GT forty P twenty twenty two forty two. I think's the chassis number, and the original ones were like twenty one or twenty two thousand something, right? Or okay. Something like that. Yeah. yeah, so this this is legit as you can get, short of buying yeah. the original. The original. It's the closest you can get, for yeah. sure. And that dude just would not listen to it. Yeah, he didn't like it. He <laughs> no. was like, yeah, the LS, you could put an LS in an RCR. And I was like, <laughs> it's a Ford GT40, yeah, bro. We're not, we're not we're not talking the same thing anymore. It's like, yeah, it's weird. this is a different car. Yeah. yeah that, uh, was, that was fun. I haven't trolled anybody in a long yeah, time. I so really that was, appreciate that was it. Good. Yeah. That uh, that made my day that's, watching that's the, that. That's the service you get with Ten right. Tense Podcast. Yeah, that, that eagerness <laughs> to just jump right in there. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, I understand. Like, if I post something on my page and so, like a friend immediately responds with "this this is dumb, you're dumb," blah blah blah, we're no longer friends. Yeah, <laughs> like Does like you know who that guy is? No, no, it's just idea. like a person, but random think, dude. Which it doesn't make it doesn't Jesus. make sense. It's just why would you be so rude to somebody you claim to be a friend with? Yeah, and what's interesting too is like there there are some universal truths in life. Like there just are some, and one sure. of them is like a GT40 is cool. Yeah, yeah pretty it's much. cool, pretty much yeah, universal absolutely. among car people. It's cool. You can't really hate on it. No, I don't what think can, there's very many people that it's, can it's do that. It's a very, very it's small like, percentage, and it's on, a, whatever reason, it's like, ridiculous. This is like the car. This car is like America incarnate. Yeah, absolutely. This guy was Canadian, and I think that might be the problem. <laughs> oh, well, you know, <laughs> maybe they're not as nice as they make themselves out well, to At least be. not that one. I hope he yeah. listens to the show. <laughs> no, I love Canadians, by the way, but but maybe it's a national pride thing. You never know. I don't know. It was, yeah, it was just it was super weird that he would, he would even think that that's an acceptable thing to comment on anybody's page. Right. Like it's a for sale ad, and you're just trying to trash it. Yeah, it's like come on, man. It sells for what it sells for. I mean, that it, its value it's is its your, value. It's none it, of yeah. your business. Just because you think something else is better for your yeah, situation, whether you would buy right. it or doesn't you would pay for it, doesn't mean yeah. anything. Yeah. I would much rather buy a 240Z than a 2000 GT because I'm not made of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's not, I'm not in that market. I, I but the, to tell you that they're the same or one could be the do the. The Z would be better. You're, you're crazy. Yeah, right. I was so eager to get it on Bring a Trailer though, just to like because the movie just came out and it's perfect timing. Like you if know, you're yeah. if you're gonna sell, you're now is yeah, now sure. is the time. That's the goal. It, and it's, uh, he told me a while ago he wanted to sell it, and and it's it's more or less like he's they're downsizing. My sister's the last one in college. They're yep. kind of like he's like I want to free up the garage bay. I've had it. You know, it's ten years old. All right, time to move on. It's like is he, is he retired? No, he's not. He works full time. He's okay. is he think, is he thinking about retiring? He's like getting to that age. He'll I have start no slowing down a little bit, but yeah, he's 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 like a constant workaholic kind of you know, and he, like it, not in like a bad <laughs> way, but but yeah, he'll probably never retire really fully. You yep. know, he's, always have something he's that kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. My, this, my dad will be restoring or rebuilding engines and stuff like that for people until he decides right to forever. Yeah, yeah. I so. believe it. Uh, this car's been cool to to like be able to like. I mean, just. I kind of not even taking it for granted. I try not to take it for granted, but like I've driven this car like lots of times, like put tons of miles on yeah, it. Yeah, it's right? something special. It's yeah. hard to, it's, I don't to know. remember that. Yeah, it's hard. And, and what's at the end of the day, too, it's kind of like an old crummy 60s race car. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's brutal. It is okay. like rowdy. Just, it's an evil car. The steering is super heavy. It's 500 the, the, wheel horsepower and weighs nothing. It has no helpers at Zero. all. Zero. Like, no, you know, ABS, and, no power steering, no. And the tires mimic bias ply tires of the day. So they're like, oh. they slide and move around a lot. And what, it's what type of tires sizes, like, what What do you have under they're that? They're an Avon. Uh, the rears are 305s, I think. It's still pretty wide. That's they're still pretty wide. They're like, they're semi slicks. They have, they're like slicks, but like grooved slicks. Yep. Is that like 
basically similar to what they were running yeah. in. Six- it's a it's a mimic of the original tire. Oh boy. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Which would not be a great it's tire. A handful. <laughs> the the brakes are good, but not like stellar. Like they're they're good, but um, but yeah. I mean, you you get on the gas and the, the I mean the car hooks up because it's mid engine, right? Like it goes. Oh yeah. You drop sure. the clutch in first, and like it is rowdy, oh, rowdy fast. That's, that's a feeling I need to know. Yeah. Oh man, with the motor that close, all that's between you and the intake is a piece of plexiglass. Oh god. Like I took my I took my wife for a ride in and I was like she was like got out of it. She goes, It's like flying in a small plane. It's the oh, only yeah. thing I know how to compare it to. Like yeah, the, the whole experience. Yeah. Yeah, a car like that, I don't like if obviously if it's not mine, I don't need to drive it, but like just if I could get the experience just to be in it at speed. Yeah. I'd I'd, I'd fly across the country it's just special, for the experience, man. man. It's be so good. Yeah, I wish we could have we could have orchestrated that you know, oh, that a year been, ago, right? That would have been super that cool. That would have been perfect. You you literally feel like you're like driving down the Mulsanne Strait when you sit in it, Cause just like the stitching and the way the dash looks and stuff, and like your your view out of the front. Yep, yep. it's so cool. You're like, I don't know, but I have a ton of respect for guys that actually drove that car back in the day because it's a sure. handful. Can you imagine doing like a full stint? No, that? 20, no 24 it's, hours. <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah, that car's brutal on the street. Like it's it's a lot to drive, but it, I mean, just to look at like having it in the garage. Like I've seen my dad driving it too, and I and I you get it right when people like freak out. Everyone remembers. Oh, that, I can't imagine right? driving that around town. It's got to be it's scary. Everyone yeah. has to just stop. Oh, you can't you can't go anywhere and and not be stopped. I mean, I've been I've like got stuck at Whole Foods one time. I went to get like a salad. Like I don't know why I went to Whole Foods. Right, I'm, I'm at Whole Foods. Felt like spending money. I, like, I dropped my wallet in the trash can when I walked in. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm like, yep. Oh, well, they got me. Right, they have a great salad bar. I'm, I'm sure like, they do. Like all sorts of great options. I've so. heard great things about their salad. Yeah. I've never even been in a Whole Foods. Don't take any cash with you. That says it'll be yeah. gone. It's just like there's like a suction cup. It just, yeah. There's your money. Yeah. But I ended up in the parking lot talking to people for like an hour. Oh, I can't imagine. I took, I took that car. Do anything quickly. You have yeah. to clear your schedule if you want to take that car anywhere yeah but it's so worth it it's, oh, it's it been be. cool to like just like witness it like be around it you know i mean it, just the whole thing i mean if you've seen the listing and stuff the um it doesn't have carb it's, it's fuel injected but uh they're like supposed to mimic weber carburetors the 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 velocity stacks oh so okay. it's got wow. like like the you know you got the intake and then where you normally have carbs it just as like these things that look like carburetors, but from a distance you couldn't yeah. tell the difference. Yeah, but it's tuned to have that like evil kind of pitter patter, and you have to crank it a couple times sometimes and give it some gas because like <laughs> it's just it legitimately tuned. acts that yeah, way. Yeah, it legitimately is kind of temperamental, like on purpose. That's cool. Awesome. Uh, but it has that vintage like kind of like sound. So good. And then when you rev it, it like starts to sing, you know, because it's got equal length headers. It's got the the bundle of snakes exhaust headers. It's 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 good. It's hard to beat. Um, That'd be sad to see go. Yeah, my dad dreamed about it since he was like, you know, he, he actually saw it like in a. He picked up a magazine and it was on the cover in like 1969 when the Gulf livered one one at Le Mans. Yeah, like the the actual legitimate. Yeah, one. And, and what he says is he was like when I was he was like I was like 10 years old and he's like I just told myself I was gonna I was gonna try to acquire that car one day like I need to own that car. Yep. And he finally you know. 50 years later was able to do it and have it for a while so that, that's that's incredible yeah it's pretty cool yeah very few people actually get to do that to that level and get, yeah. get that type of a dream car yeah. so the fact that he was able to do it and well it, and it's a, like when he bought it too i think like i have all the original paperwork oh, it's yeah. about a hundred and twenty four thousand dollar car all in it's not like it's not cheap but it's I an mean, that's attainable a, life goal it is it, yeah, yeah. I'll say like if, if you're a very success, you're a successful person and you can get to that point and yeah a hundred twenty five thousand dollar Dream cars, totally realistic. Yeah. You're disciplined so. with your savings account over three decades. <laughs> Anybody can do it. Yeah, so I'll never do it. Is what you're saying. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been cool to to be around yeah. that, that car. But I mean, re- I mean, realistically, one hundred twenty five thousand dollars for that versus a new, like it's not Viper anymore, but like a new Corvette, like ZR1. I mean, it's in the same ballpark. Yeah, really. And this car has a soul to it. Like it speaks to you. You know, it's like it's it's. I don't know. It's it's like the the connection that you want from a. That's that's car. something that people who are not car people don't understand. You know, that's why totally. I love my Omni so much. It's such a stupid, yeah. silly car, but it has such oh, a character it's to an it. Awesome I just car. love it. Yeah. You know. So yep. that's that's an old car thing. I love the sure. Omni. My first race oh, car Jesus. was a '74 Alfa Romeo. We might have talked about this the first time I was that's on fine. the we show. Talk about it again. Okay. Yeah. Dude, that car was. 
it was the worst car ever for just like actually <laughs> wanting to drive. Yeah, and wanting to run. An but, alpha that didn't run yeah. well. Weird. But man, when it ran, it was good. <laughs> it sounds so, sound so good. It just oh, like man. just the way it felt and the yeah. things that it, the noises it made and the things that it did. I bet it was amazing. Yeah, it was a but, double double overhead cam motor oh, and like fourteen so to good. one compression. It was a built race motor. Oh Jesus! Oh, wow. Yeah, it sounded wow. so good. I'll bet it just sang. Yeah. Oh, it was good, but it hardly ever ran. I, yeah, rip. <laughs> I don't miss it that bad, but it was a good experience. Yep. <laughs> so what do you got planned for uh, Apex Pro in 2020? All sorts of stuff. Apex Pro is releasing a line of uh, fine chocolate. Ooh. It's, no, not really. <laughs> well, you had me sold. No, no, no. <laughs> no uh, uh, we're you know, trying to perfect what we're doing, really. Okay. Um, we just released our OBD2 interface. So yeah, how, how is that going? I know it's we, going really I haven't well. had a chance to use it yet. There, it's 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 been needed. Uh, oh, the sure. biggest thing is you get throttle position, right? So from a driver-related yeah. data standpoint, That's, was I on the throttle or not? Yeah. What, what was I doing with the gas pedal? It's pretty important. Yep. Um, the cool thing, too, is you can actually use it without owning the hardware. Okay. So you can buy, you Just, can download the app for free. Yep. You can buy a $129 OBD2 interface from us and use it with the app and log lap times and get OBD2 data. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So if you're interested in like the Apex Pro ecosystem, that's a really attainable thing for like autocrossing next year for that doing is crazy some track affordable. Events. Yeah. So, and that's we kind of designed it that way for it to be like a starter. Like you you know, you're limited by what your car is gonna give you on OBD two. Right. But at the same time you get throttle position, RPM. We actually have a gear in, a gear predictor. So there's some math that uses uh speed to predict the gearing. Okay. Um, so you and you can actually go in and change it. So you'll look at your overlay on the track, and it'll say you were in second, third, and fourth gear. And you're like, no, I was actually in third, fourth, and fifth. And you can go in and change that, oh. which is really cool. I think I saw you do a video on that. Yeah, yeah, yep. a couple weeks ago. Yep. Yeah, so that's um, that's really been the big push for this like PRI show is, is educating people on that product. Um, obviously, if you already own the hardware, it just it's an ecosystem, right? So it fits right in. Yep. Um, and then we're going to be releasing some paid app features next year for people that want to go deeper in the app, like okay. deeper with their data review. How so? Um, so it'll be like predictive timing, um, oh. segment analysis. So yeah. that so that could be like you put your. Put your, your phone, phone up screen. and then it shows yep. you. You get ah. predictive lap times. So that, that what? The people I've talked to, uh, that's like the one thing they they like about a solo that right we that don't have. Apex hasn't been able to provide yet. So yeah. that's that's cool. And That'll that's be been good. kind of part of our plan to build like a racers package or like a yeah. advanced package, right? For the people that that want to go a little bit further, um, and it helps us monetize. We don't you know the app's totally free right now. Yep. It's uh, it's forty two thousand lines of code. That is not, like a, that is not yeah. a small undertaking so at all. Yeah, it's absurd. So we are going to be monetizing some stuff, but we're going to give our customers the power to decide if they want to buy a feature or not. You don't have to. You can, the app as it is now will be free. Yeah, um, which perfect. I think is is cool. And then we're also going to hopefully work on um, a lot of people have been asking for a video uh, integrating into the app. Okay. Um, so that hopefully will be coming late 2020. Like the Wi-Fi connection to the GoPro type stuff? That, uh, actually, uh, it's using like iPhone camera. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, your phone's kinda, already up there. Kind of yeah. like Harry's. Yeah. Okay. Kinda, I used okay. Harry's extensively when I was autocrossing. Yeah. Very, very similar. You know, except we'll ago. be able to, because we already have the hardware, we'll be able to use the data overlay from the hardware on the video. Right. To get way more accurate. You know, oh, that's good. I never knew overlay. what to do with any of the information that Harry's gave me, but it made for really cool Facebook videos. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. That was what really mattered. Yeah, that's a really, and and that's honestly what a lot of people are asking for is that ability. And and I don't want like. You shouldn't have to go back to Harry's now because you've kind of gone a little bit more premium and bought some data yeah, hardware. You shouldn't yeah, have to yeah. go back to Harry's, yeah. right? So that's kind of um, – those are those are the two big things we're working on. Um, just sharing that with 1010's listeners. That's not oh, really snap. public information. Yes. Exclusive. Um, a PRI exclusive. That's right. PRI. Wow. Good big time Damn. now. Exclusive scoop. Uh, yeah, so keep an eye out for that. If you're already using our stuff, then you have the option to kind of dive a little bit deeper. Or, uh, you know, now we have the OBD2 route. You know, we're, we're really trying to build an ecosystem of products that – support that you know yeah, racers they, and drivers that use it it's kind of an a la carte thing so you can pick and choose that fits your needs yeah and you can always grow into your a needs, different part your of it budget your, exactly yeah, exactly yeah giving giving people options and um yeah i think that'll, yeah. that'll help you in every way i think you'll grow i think so too you know and from a business standpoint it really makes a lot of sense to charge for stuff in the app because it's so expensive to maintain it and yep. it's yeah people, it's a cost, people have right? to understand that at some level yeah. you know i mean even the fact that the app is free as it is 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 not a small feat yeah you know and it's 
it's I'm sure a ton of work, and I would it's I would hope that people understand that. Yeah, uh, I, I think they do. I think uh, you know I think most of our customer base is uh, we're close with most of our customers. You know, we communicate directly if possible, and I think they get it. So that's it, and like I said, it's optional for you to pay. And I think I think a lot of people will want to once you start to learn what the data is capable of. The idea is that you like can learn the existing uh, features and really get a lot out of it, and then go. Okay, now I've mastered understanding my speed trace. I know what longitudinal and lateral G can give me. I understand what the apex lights are displaying. I've got that down. I know how to do the airdrop data. I know how to overlay laps. I know how to analyze my friction circle. I want more. Yep. And we can we can give you more without you having to do anything with your hardware. Update an app, pay a couple bucks a month. You got more. No, be, I think that's pretty be, cool. Yeah, that'll be perfect. You yeah. Can, you can kind of grow yeah. with the features that you have available. Right. Especially when you look at like buying a, a legacy hardware product for people that have like a, a Motec or a or an AIM they're super powerful and they're awesome yep um, but you literally have to unlock like if you if you want brake pressure on a car that doesn't have it on CAN bus and you have a $3,000 AIM or a $3,000 Motec dash yep. you've got to buy a brake pressure sensor and then you yep. have to unlock it in the software it's like another five hundred bucks. Just yeah, it's it. it's, it's, it's yeah. A and then you got to install it all. Yeah, and you then know, you got to actually like, physically put it in the car. Free either, I yeah, mean. it takes your time. Yeah, it's and that's kind of the we're trying to give people the opportunity to not have to go that route if you want to get some of that information. Right. Um, and I think we're doing that. We're doing that well, but we're just you know trying to make it better every day. Yeah, and, and for being a, a young company that you are, it's you've come a long ways in what four five you know five yeah. years. Yeah, four three and a half years. Yeah, yeah. See, not not many. Yeah. Which is which is very impressive. Yeah, yeah. Our customers have been good to us. The community's uh, embraced it, and feedback's been great and and helpful. Right? You know, we like to hear what people like. We really like to hear what people like because then we know what to keep doing. Right. Um, and we also want to hear what you don't like, but also understand that like I can't change everything. Right? Yeah. I, if you yeah. don't like something, it might not change. I'm sorry, but if a lot of other people don't like it, it'll probably change. Yeah. Android it, users. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Looking at you. <sighs> Can't stand them. No, yeah, I would say it's forty two thousand lines of code Damn for your it, iPhone. Right? Yeah. It's another forty two thousand lines of code for your Android, that's, that's a, and it's that's totally true. different lines of code. More than it's, that, because uh, it's got to be code to make it work with this phone and that, that phone, phone and this phone. Yeah, and Android's that phone. a bit more. It's, it's, it's more a very for sure. Yep, very very uh, daunting task uh, at, to say the least. Man, so it's, it, it hurts that like we don't have an Android app for me personally, just because it. Yeah. Me personally, it's a redundant statement for for me. Um, because it's like it's it's kind of my baby. It's like having a kid, kind of yep. not, not quite. No. Careful, like, yeah. Careful. <laughs> a dad over here. Careful. Yeah, it's like, like I've, I've used that reference before. And Baker has a one year old. He's like, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I my have dogs kid. are like my kid. No, <laughs> no, 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 they're yeah. not. They're my fur babies. <laughs> you are, you are, this is not. The it same. is a different. I deal. thought it was the same. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, but yeah. Hopefully that that will be solved. We are we are hiring an app developer right now uh, in some mechanics. Uh, engineers as well for some uh, both Apex Pro and other projects that we have in house. So if, if you're interested, mechanical you engineers, huh? Skill. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, mechanical, huh? Mechanical That's engineer. right. If you want to move to Birmingham, Alabama, let me know. Sounds like a lot warmer climate. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Let's take this show on the road. Uh, Is Birmingham at Auburn? Uh, it's close to yeah, Auburn or Alabama. Where's, football wise, yeah. Where's Alabama? Alabama's in Tuscaloosa. All right, I'm not it's, going there. It's south of. I prefer Auburn. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Poor> <laughs> Adam doesn't give a shit about sports. I have sports. no <laughs> idea what you guys are talking about. None. <laughs> oh, man. It's like Iowa, Iowa State, I would imagine. I'm yes, sure. it's, it's sure. probably yeah. even worse yeah. in all reality. Oh, it's so... It's, I don't it's, know. Do they knife each other? Because that's happened. Yeah, people have died. Oh, 100%. You, you don't really marry across, like, the Auburn, Alabama. Yeah, the house, the yeah, house divided. You try to the, avoid yeah. it. Yeah. You see that every once in a while back home, you'll see somebody with a sign out front. It's got... It says house divided on it. And it's oh, got yeah. cyclones on one side and Hawkeyes on the other. Like, yeah. You people are lame. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, but it's it's people take it very very oh, yeah. seriously Man. because like, Iowa State played Iowa on t- Wednesday, and uh, Iowa State did not show up for their basketball game and got their asses kicked. Iowa State supposed or to Thursday. Be, that's it was Thursday. That's what they're supposed to be good at. They that was the worst basketball I think I've seen it ever. It was. It was <laughs> I, 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 ever, I was embarrassed, time. and I'm not even that diehard when it comes to sports. But like oh, I, 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 I love watching Iowa State sports. I, I cheer. I'm. I'm I, Tried not to miss it, but yeah. If 
the people that are diehards, you know, Friday at work was nothing but Hawkeye fans yeah. jeering it at, yeah. at Cyclone fans. Oh, that's man. why and people took it personal. That's yeah. why I was, was a Cyclone fan. Deal. Like my last place I worked at, I worked with a ton of ISU alum, and all I cared about was that if ISU won, the next day they would be in a much better mood. Right. So I was I was a Cyclone fan by proxy yeah. for that because yeah. I just needed them to win, so I didn't have to deal with a bunch of that's assholes. Right. Yeah. 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 Our, our work's pretty divided. Like the guy next to me is a, a pretty serious Hawkeye fan, and I'm a Cyclone fan. So like, but we don't. Yeah, don't we don't. Talk about we, it. We, we just kind of poke each other, and that's it. That's yeah. it. But like, there's a lot of people that'll legitimately take it personally. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're the same way. None of us actually like care at all. Like, no, I mean, if they lose a game, it's a it's a it's a game. It's a game. It, it, it's for our entertainment. That's, what, that's for next year. Yeah, you know, we'll try again. Yeah, it is fun to be an, an invested enough that like you care because it, it is like a little bit of an adrenaline rush and yep. it's exciting. Yep. But uh, yeah, I, I'm an Auburn grad, and like Auburn and Alabama is like the ISU, you know, for it's sure. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like especially, especially rivalry, in football. Right? Oh, it's it's such a big deal. I actually went to the Iron Bowl game a couple weeks ago. Yep. Auburn versus Alabama, so it was it was a really entertaining football game. That's all I really care about. Like right. you yeah. want you want it to be competitive, even if you want your team to win. You want yeah. it to, you want to at least I'm enjoy the, be the, the whole thing. Track, you know, it's like <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> that, that's definitely like as I've gotten older and the more serious I've gotten into cars, the less I really care about other sports yeah like, like in college yeah i was like cyclones everything and, and yeah and even, like i actually followed the nba at the time and now i i, I, don't, I couldn't tell you anything yeah. on like the rosters or anything like that yeah i enjoy football a lot just from like the sport of it. it's exciting and yep. i don't know and i do fan, watch, yeah, fantasy football yeah. i do that every year but fantasy then football's fun but then we do fantasy formula one we tried to do yeah. it it's kind of tailed off there the yeah end. yeah i've heard fantasy indy is pretty good because it's so competitive Ooh, that one that'd be probably better than formula yeah. one for sure I'm, I'm i'm a pretty big indy car fan i would say if it, out of any of the modern like the current motorsports i'm a big yeah. i'm a fan i just don't watch. i don't follow it yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of everything they do yeah Oh man, watching the onboards from Barber, so my home tracks Barber Motorsports Park, yep. and the, you know the fastest lap time I've done there is like a one thirty five yep. in, in my old late model stock car. Like that's pretty fast. Right. It's like that's not, it's, like it's not slow. Yeah, like a brand new nine nine two GT three RS or like a like a like a Corvette like. Z06 on slicks would run that kind of time. Right. Um, an Indy car does like a one oh eight. <laughs> So fast, That's wild! Such a, you're such a plebe. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, there are certain places on the track where they pull four Gs. Oh, it's absurd. That's I want to know what that feels like. Yeah, four Gs. It is so four. crazy. I, I see one point four on my data, and I'm like, I really did something. Yeah, <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Damn, or I made so. a huge mistake. Yeah, <laughs> that was right before the tire wall. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Well, that must have been when I hit the wall. Okay. Yep, that would explain yeah. it. Yeah. It's it's really cool. Barber's like it's nuts to watch them get around that racetrack. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. When they turn off the back straight, like it's a pretty pretty considerable braking event for most everybody. Yep. They're flat. 160 <laughs> miles an hour just turn the wheel. Awesome. God, that's, that's that's insane. Yeah, it's so cool to watch. Oh man, it's wild. But yeah, we're about a full show into this. So we were we were, gonna, we were planning on stacking a few of these. This is not only going to happen. This is a, yeah, this is a legitimate fine. show, and I'm so happy about that. Awesome. But uh, yeah, we appreciate you sitting down with us. And yeah, thanks for having me. Up. Um, you know, I, I definitely want to have you on, even if it wasn't here. I wanted to have you on again before we started the 2020 season. So yeah. this is, I'm, this I'm is glad good. we got to catch up. Yeah, I'm hoping we can have you out at uh, some of the mid of events. It'd be good to kind of have a lot of those guys see what you guys actually. Because this year I passed all, out your uh, an extra pro, Apex Pro, probably every event to do a different driver. I yeah. thought for sure they were all going to buy one. I was so disappointed in them for not buying oh, one. Oh, so man. I'm to I can push them over the edge. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. So, yeah, if we could have you there. I think that would turn turn a lot more people onto it just so they could yeah. see the value in it. Yeah, we need to get an event on the schedule for sure. Yep, so our schedule should be out here probably within the next few weeks. I know there, there's a few events that we're tentatively at that we aren't sure yet, and I know we're trying to push for a few new venues. So once those are finalized, then the, the – um, schedule will be out sweet yeah so we're excited about that and awesome. yeah, so hope to find a time that you guys come out yeah yeah we'll, we'll we'll figure it out if we're not busy that weekend and it works we can uh we can do it yeah yeah, yeah we travel so far we're actually probably the same amount of distance apart by the time we go to it's kind of probably so gateway St. Louis or, or something like that's probably not that bad for him yeah yeah that's true that's probably like a 10 hour drive for me yeah but yeah if you uh are listening and you want to check out apex pro it's apex dot com our code is still good if you want to pick up a free suction mount with your uh, Apex unit. We're going to continue to push for that because I think everyone should be getting more serious about their data. And 
That's right. Drive I, faster. It, yeah, absolutely. Focus on the driver and less on the car. Yeah. So yeah, make sure the car cheaper. runs right. It's mm. Way cheaper. Buy yep. good tires. Yep. No matter how much work you've put into your car, the slowest part about it is still you. One hundred percent. You never heard a tourist statement. <laughs> it's, it's always the case. The car's yeah. just a machine, right? You exactly. have to tell it what to do. If, yeah. if the machine's running great, let's not change it. Let's focus on the one thing you can change. Yeah. It, and it'll cost you a lot less. Awesome. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. This is fun. Yep, we'll catch up again soon. Yeah. Right That's on. it.